his mother's arms and throw him in a cage full of pedophiles and let them have Seems like Trump derangement syndrome is never going away. Here you have these scumbags at Rolling Stone. Boy, Rolling Stone sure loves their pedophiles. They never upset about any of those kid fuckers. But boy, they hate Donald Trump. Anyway, what are they so upset about now? Has Donald Trump said he's going to kick out all the gay people? There's going to be a gay registry. Blah, blah, blah. Is gonna hunt down transgender teens and force them to get pregnant. <laughs> Some fucking weird shit like this. He's gonna go after the Mexicans and the blacks still. Don't worry about it. Gotta do something about that. Blah, blah, blah. No, no. Uh, he ain't doing any of that. He just said that he's going to, uh, he's gonna send teams into Mexico to kill the cartel leaders. And they're fucking like, no. Oh my God, I can't do that. The cartel members are great. Are they? I mean, if you're saying that because you don't want to be killed by the cartels, that makes sense to me. Because holy shit, those guys, they've got some imagination. I'm going to tell you that right now. I do not want to upset the cartels. But no, they're saying this because they have to knee-jerk react into whatever policy Donald Trump says. they got to be 100% opposite, even if it makes total sense. <laughs> it makes total sense. Like, uh, hey, we should probably not allow a bunch of weapons runners, drug runners, human traffickers... Maybe we shouldn't put up with that. No, oh my God, Thith. Let him do it. There's nothing wrong with child sex work. What the fuck? What the fuck? So here's the Rolling Stone <laughs> kill list. Again, it, it, I'm surprised that you're not trying to make it sound like Donald Trump's kill list to get gays, blacks, browns. No, no, it's, it's, no, his kill list is cartel members, cartel leaders, by the way. Ray. Trump is planning to send kill teams to Mexico to take out cartel leaders. Carl. Right, Carl. Cartel leaders. Trump has told allies about his plans to covertly send special forces to Mexico to assassinate drug kingpin. Sources. <laughs> oh my God, how will we get our drugs, man? I don't know. I don't care about you and your uh, your drug addiction. How could you possibly have a problem with this? Again, I don't know why I'm su why am I surprised? I should be surprised that I'm surprised. These fuck Donald Trump blew up an ISIS leader, and these fucking scumbags are like, oh my god, our poor austere <laughs> religious leader. You mean the ISIS dude? You mean the Islamic terrorist? He was mostly peaceful terrorist leader. <laughs> fuck you. Then Donald Trump sent in a, uh, a kill team to take out. That, that dude's replacement, they sent in a dog, ripped the dude apart before they shot him. And then Donald Trump uh, said he screamed like a bitch while he was being torn apart by dogs. And then the same uh, – Washington Post, Rolling Stone, all these others like, oh, my God, this. I can't believe Donald Trump would make fun of a terrorist leader being mauled to death by a dog. Really? I thought that's awesome. That's hilarious. But again, here you go. The mainstream media press the, – the mainstream media press – is a bunch of fucking scumbags who know exactly what's going on, by the way. The CIA is allowing all this to happen. It, it, we, we sent troops to protect the poppy fields in Afghanistan. They said that that was a conspiracy theory. And they're like, okay, well, fine. Fuck, man. What, you want us to ruin their way of life? Listen, we're not okay with their way of life, but it's not up to us, the Obama administration, to ruin their life. We need to continue this George Bush Poppy seed protection plan. What? You blowing up, you drone attacking weddings. You blowing up entire buildings to get one dude. You're killing a lot of kids in this region, but we got to protect the poppy plants? Go fuck yourself. Everybody knows what's going on. The CIA is asshole. These criminal kid fuckers in Washington, D.C., they all allowing the drug trade because the drug trade is poison and it's killing and crushing this country. And as it goes on and ruins, ruins, ruins lives, those fucked up people and those fucked up families, because of this continuation of this poisoning of our country, they then become completely dependent on this fucking scumbag government. It's very simple to see who benefits from the situation. And now Rolling Stone is upset that Donald Trump is saying that he's going to take out cartel leaders. How could you be, again, fucking Rolling Stone stumping and going out there proclaiming their love for ISIS leaders, 
cartel leaders, kid fuckers, the IRS, anything that Donald Trump is against, these motherfuckers are for. Fuck you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video support and channel. If you want to keep up to date on Rolling Stone, we're going to arrest you guys at Rolling Stone. Domestic terrorists at Rolling Stone. <laughs> Leave our poor cartel leaders alone. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Hit that subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow.